Greetings one and all, it is I, the Family Car Guy, and today we are actually in Volo, Illinois. We are at the Volo Auto Museum, and they got all kinds of ridiculous, antique, classic, famous cars, man. Look at, oh dude, we got a C4, oh dude, I'm already, I'm already hyped, I'm already hyped, uh, but Whenever I go on vacation, man, or I'm actually not on vacation. I'm actually coming off of a work trip. But whenever I am traveling, I try to find some kind of a place where uh, where I can engage my passion for cars. Whether that be a car museum, you know, some kind of auto show, whatever the case may be. I try to find a place where I can, uh, you know, see what see what the local car scene looks like. So uh, I was able to find this place. I think it's, it says that they're world famous, so we're going to find out. But I hear they have a fantastic collection of cars. Uh, so we're going to go check it out, man. So I'm going to bring you guys with me. All right. See you inside.
you've ever seen the movie Mad Max, this is that car. 1975 Ford Interceptor. They even have the movie playing for you to see it in action. side pipes. Look at that. And then one of my favorite cars of all time. Don't act like you don't know what this car is. This is Eleanor from Gone in 60 Seconds. Absolutely fantastic car. Gone in 60 Seconds. 1967 Shelby GT500 Mustang. In my opinion, this is one of the best car movies of all time. Uh, man, what a fantastic looking car. Just beautiful. You guys remember Transformers? The original uh, Transformers? Uh, you can duck down if you want. Um, this is the original Bumblebee. So there you go. You gotta love this car. Uh, one of my favorite movies of all time, Fast and Furious. You guys remember Paul Walker? This was his Eclipse in the first one. Just a fantastic car. Man, I'm, I'm digging this museum, like seriously. I'm loving all the history. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie car. Got the Star Wars Land Speeder. Let me see your identification. Don't need to see DeSoto, Fire Gnome Seville. Just some beautiful cars in here, man. It's getting real close to the time I gotta roll to the airport, so we got to speed this up. Let's skate across here. Another Paul Walker tribute. Look at this man. So this is the Super WRX that they used in Furious 7. Just beautiful man. So you guys can probably guess what this is. This is the Bonnie and Clyde car. We have one of my favorite cars of all time. The Knight Rider car. The 1983 Pontiac Trans Am. Yes, indeed. David Hasselhoff doing his thing. Look at that interior. That's what I'm talking about. All the buttons. If you're gonna have a movie car collection, you gotta have the DeLorean. 81 DeLorean. Yes, indeed. Flux capacitors, let's do this. And let's keep it moving with the Miami Vice 72 Ferrari Daytona. Cash, guitar car. Look at this. Look at this. Carol Shelby, the Cobra Series One. Look at this thing. It's just beautiful. Oprah with the Bentley Azure. Look at 
that. Michael Jordan. MGGT. Now, we got the Great Gatsby car. You gotta love this. The Duesenberg. Just amazing. Of course you gotta have the Scooby-Doo van. You gotta have the Flintstone mobile. You gotta get cars, tow mater, Lightning McQueen. Of course, gotta do it. Gotta do it. Jurassic Park Jeep, the iconic. Gotta show y'all the Batmobile. Look at that. It's dark in here. So here's the deal guys, I had a great time. I hope you guys did too at the uh, Volo Auto Museum. I tried to show you as much stuff as I could in the short time that I had. Uh, here's the deal, I'm gonna tell you guys a quick story though. This is like, man, this is one of those things where sometimes you just gotta talk to people, you gotta kinda, you know, take a risk. So one of the things I ended up doing was, there was this lady who, from a distance I feel horrible because from a distance I wasn't really paying attention and I was like, excuse me sir, and I realized actually it was a lady an older lady probably in her 50s but um basically what ended up happening was she had a nice 94 uh c4 corvette man red uh with the black target roof and i went up to it and i went up to her and i said uh that is an absolutely beautiful uh c4 i mean man it's just in great shape what's kind of tell me the story behind it you know because you know you, you know you guys if you've seen my my videos before you know i care much you know a lot about the stories and so Basically, what ended up happening was she was telling me, hey, I'm selling this car right now to the Volo Auto Museum because they have a sales department as well. Um, I'm selling to them. And I said, you're selling it? Well, you know, what? what's kind of telling me the story? Why are you selling? And she said, well, you know, honestly, my husband passed away over a year ago. And I just, this was his car. I drove it for a year. You know, I, I, I had my fun with it, but I'm, I'm ready to move on. I need the money. I don't want to store it another year. So on, so on, so on. Here's the deal, guys. She was selling this car for four grand. And I'm talking about a car that has 44,000 miles on it. The, the tires are in perfect condition. The car has barely a scratch on it. Uh, you could tell it was well-maintained. Uh, the seats were just a little bit worn. Just, you know, I mean, it's an it's a over 20-year-old car. But other than that, that car was in pretty much immaculate shape. So I called my barber because I told, you know, here's the deal. If I showed up with a third Corvette, my beautiful wife, who loves me dearly, she would be like, okay, we have problems. And I love peace in my home, for those of you guys that understand. All you people aspiring to get married or duly married, peace in your home is paramount. Anyway, back to the story. I can't show up with three Corvettes. I can't, I can't show up from Chicago with a third Corvette. So I called my barber. I told him, here's the deal, man. There's a Corvette here, 44,000 miles. A lady is selling it for four grand. There's no way on God's green earth that car is worth that. In my opinion, it is worth at least double that uh, in Minnesota. And I know some people, depending upon where you are watching this, maybe that's what they go for in your area. But in Minnesota, you're not gonna find a car, you're not gonna find a C4 Corvette with 44,000 miles that's that well maintained for four grand. You're just not gonna, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, um, long story short, my barber was interested, but, you know, and, and I, I showed pictures to, uh, I sent him pictures and, you know, we t took a video of the car starting and running and everything like that. Uh, she put a new battery in it. As soon as she put the new battery in it, the ABS light came on. So we, we're not sure if that's an electrical issue or whatever, but she's like, the car stops fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But uh, ultimately, she just kind of was like, you know what? These guys have already written me the check. You know, these guys are pretty much ready to go. You know, I know you guys would need to ship it 
probably back to Minnesota and those types of things. So because of that, uh, I think I'm just going to go ahead and sell the car, even though I know I could probably do better. And, you know, I was disappointed, you know, to hear that, obviously. But I understand, you know, the people you run into people every day with different situations. And this is the situation that she was in. So she just wanted to get rid of it and move on. And, and, and I get that. Uh, but it just goes to show you that you need to you, you definitely need to um, just sometimes go with your gut instinct, man. Sometimes you just need to to reach out and talk to somebody and see see what their story is. And, and again, cars are about people. So just hearing her story, I wish I could have taken it off her hands, you know, like I said, but in my, in, you know, one of the things in my marriage and in, in, in my world is, you know, we, we, we discuss things, you know, and we don't make decisions like that on a whim, you know, it's something that you want to discuss. And, and sometimes it makes for great YouTube content, right? If you just pull the trigger, but again, I'm the family car guy. Family comes first. I got to make sure my family's good before I make a move like that. Um, but I wish I could have taken that car off her hands. So anyway, uh, I got to hurry up and get to this airport. We're over here vlogging while driving. I'm holding the camera, which is not, in my opinion, probably the smartest thing to do, especially in a rental car in an area that I don't really know that well. But anyway, we're back to the airport. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Uh, like, share, subscribe. I'm going to be coming at you with more uh, C4 Corvette content and other related content. And you guys have a blessed day. Peace out.